were two retirees hooked on travel. Follow us on our journeys around the world. We're so busy traveling, we don't have time to edit our footage. After the British Island cruise, we headed straight to Africa for a two-week safari. We took an ultimate private safari to Kenya and Tanzania. The first game park we visited was Ambaseli, which is on the foot of the Kilimanjaro, close to the Tanzania border. Our trip from Nairobi to Ambaseli was about a six hour drive. This is our first time to East Africa and we found everything so different and so fascinating. This road is the highway between Nairobi and Mombasa, which is all the way to the Indian Ocean. How are you doing over there, Teresa? Pretty good. Uh, I made it into the back of the chair. <laughs> It's comfortable. Comfortable? Yeah. Apparently, everything in Kenya happens on the side of the road. Well, it actually makes it a great show. Okay, this is the one second on the top. <laughs> wow, look at the, the fruit stands. Big, big uh, papayas. Oh, papayas. This is what you call drive through shopping. You can buy anything from cold water to slingshots. Slingshots? Oh my god. Those are, those are major slingshots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we've just pulled off the side of the road again, and there's a, 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 a herder here with his goats. And the zebras are just hanging out with them. It's remarkable. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so cute. Look at their stripes. Wow. The last half hour to the park, well, was on a gravel road. Just had a, a, another giraffe sighting. Just jumped across the road. He's, Steve says he sees another one on our left. Okay, we just saw another giraffe right on the road. Wow. See how he's walking with his feet, like his legs are going together together on one side? We finally made it to the lodge. Actually, I didn't realize we were going to be on such high altitude. No wonder it's cooler on the equator. Out of all the lodges, we found this one to be the most comfortable. Looking outside, there are spider monkeys. They did tell us to keep the windows closed so they don't get in and create havoc. The lodge has really nice grounds, great staff, beautiful setting. They had a nice swimming pool to cool down in between your morning and game drives, or you can just sit in the shade with a cold beer. The animals are most active in the early morning and in the evening, when it's cooler. 
So generally we would start out pretty early in the morning, do a game drive till lunch, take a break until four and then start back out from four to six in the evening. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> we are here in mid-September and it's towards the end of the dry season. We were told that they had not had rain for seven months. A lot of the animals are really struggling. The landscape is extremely dry. Most of the animals are at this water hole to try and survive. It's just a big watering hole. Where all the water's coming from? I mean, we just entered the park and it's <laughs> unbelievable. Look at the dirt devils, it's so weird. Most of the safari vehicles are the Toyota Land Cruisers. They're made for safaris. They have that open top for game viewing and they can handle the rough roads. Oh, he's running. That's it, he's had it. We're out of here. <laughs> we brought good binoculars with stabilization, and it sure did enhance the experience. And for taking epic pictures and videos, it's a good idea to have a high quality zoom lens. Most of the animals, well, they're really gonna be out of reach of your cell phone. You wanna be able to get up close and personal with the right equipment. Zarko, he was able to get countless great epic pictures. This elephant is huge. He's the most handsome fellow of the entire park. He's the biggest elephant we actually saw in the entire trip to Kenya and Tanzania. I think we were really fortunate to see him and to come this close to our, our car. He walked right in front of our vehicle. <laughs> oh my God. Having the Kilimanjaro in the background it made it an unforgettable experience. The size and the weight of his tusks were just massive, almost touching the ground as he walks away. With the watering hole here, there was just so many animals concentrated in one area. The baby elephants, they're just so cute. The baby monkeys. I was just surprised, the variety of animals. And then, the lion in the tree. I mean, the whole thing, it just looks almost staged. It's kind of crazy, but even baby hyenas are cute, just like a pet puppy. We did three game drives while we were in Amboseli Park, and we got to see countless animals. 
But, you know, they were in an unhospitable environment. The dry season, it does concentrate the animals to one area by the water hole, which makes it a lot easier for viewing. Good night, and tomorrow we're going to be visiting a Maasai tribal village. So be sure to watch what we experienced there. <laughs>